So this question of the underserved community, I think, is part of the conversation I hope we have today. Uh, and our traditional definitions of underserved. So when we think often of traditional definitions of underserved, we're focused on income and socioeconomic status. We're focused on education. We're focused on racial and ethnic minority populations as our traditional underserved populations with regards to health care today. But I think the one message that I want to just make sure everybody leaves here with from the data as we looked at it, we actually have to look at this very differently. And when we think about underserved communities and genomic medicine, we have to expand that definition. And we have to expand and think about those barriers to those communities that are traditionally not perceived as underserved. Clearly, issues of rural communities is important. But we heard interesting comments with regards to cultural issues, with regards to unique populations and differences in access, and the barriers that what I would describe as middle-income America has in accessing precision medicine. And that we have to think about those communities also, but then we also must think about the communities that are not even getting access to PAF. And so they're not, their voice is not there at all. And I think there's a recognition that we must have that middle income America is having barriers to accessing genomic medicine when they need it. And then the traditional underserved community is not even at the table. And so how do we grapple with that from a policy perspective to help to both enhance the access for middle income America and get access to the traditionally underserved? <laughs>